So it's about 5 a.m. and as you can clearly see, I am not impressed. I put on my little gray knee highs and they are awesome. These are Fior. When we got to the airport, I hit the washroom and I thought I would tell you about my little outfit today. This is it. Yes, this is it. My kiss shirt, a pair of sweats and my runners. What can I say? Comfy rocks. Today we're flying from Canada to Sarasota and taking American Airlines, so we got here early. So they tell us to come three hours before, but they only open at 6.30, so we've been sitting here for like an hour. And once again, I'm not impressed. However, I don't have any complaints about these knee-high stockings just yet. While we were waiting, I was hesitating and trying to figure out why the hell are we here so early in the morning? Cut. Just doing a little check here, making sure that um, my knee highs are not laddered or have any holes in just yet. After about an hour wait, we checked in and headed straight to security. Of course, the shoes have to come off, which I must say is a perfect opportunity to show off these awesome nylon stockings. The color, the pattern, they rock. We found our gate and yes, to Charlotte at 8.30 is on time. I wanted to grab a Starbucks and then I saw Gulf Breeze and thought a mimosa would be way more appropriate for this situation. However, after all the waiting and waiting and waiting, and waiting. I ended up with orange juice because they had no Prosecco. To boost my spirits, I decided that a massage chair would be absolutely fantastic. So of course, gotta get the shoes off because this massage chair will massage your calves, your ankles. Oh, it's amazing. A full body massage right here. So if you're ever in the Sarasota airport, I highly recommend you getting a massage. Ooh, snacks. Even though I just ate. I'm hoping that's not our plane, but it could be, who knows? What do you think? <laughs> so let's just enjoy a takeoff. So on any airplane I like to get comfy and that means I gotta lose the shoes. Surprise, surprise. And yes, he is asleep. I struggled to get my uh, little ear pods in and then I have a little bit of problems connecting the Bluetooth. After searching for a movie, I just kind of gave up. Finally, I got my mimosa, which I had been waiting for for hours, and so I tried again, and this time I was quite successful at finding a movie that I had actually watched before, I believe in the 90s, and um, yeah, Bean John Malkovich. This movie is crazy, weird, artistic, glorious, it's insane, kind of like me, but um, I'd watch it again. Would you? Have you seen it? Maybe? Maybe not? We make it to Charlotte and check out that theme park. I love a nice soft landing and it's always just relaxing to know that we have a few hours before the next flight so maybe we'll get a drink. That's me just rocking it out <laughs> in my pantyhose, nylons, hosiery, whatever you want to call it. Sing me a song, Mr. Piano Man. That rocks. We head to gate D7 and on the way we check out a couple of stores. Oh, Spanx. 
and are accompanied by some air hostesses who are wearing a beautiful pair of panios themselves, which is awesome. The rum bar is definitely calling my name. And I get a glass of Pinot Grigio because, uh, yeah, I've only had one drink. But do you like my shrimp salad? It was pretty, pretty awesome. I kick my feet up and then wait to board the plane. are so important to us. Let's go through some in-flight instructions. The flight is quite uneventful, but it is so gorgeous, the view that you get from up here. Wait, wait, wait check this out. So because the first flight was so short, I didn't get to finish my movie, and yes, it is a hit. Watch Being John Malkovich. I highly, highly recommend this movie if you have a twisted mind much like me. Before I know it, we are landing through the clouds, through the fog, and we are in Toronto. I'm happy to be home, but you know, not happy to be cold. Ooh, a pink plane. I want one of those. I check these panios to make sure that Fior has um, lasted the test of time, and it seems like they are doing pretty good. In terms of comfort, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Looks a 10 out of 10 for sure. We deplane and head straight for customs. Filling out my declaration on one of these fancy little machines at Pearson Toronto Airport. And then we'll head out, hopefully, with little, little problems. After my little carousel cameo, I get our luggage and we head off to go find a taxi so that we can head home. About an hour drive north of Pearson Toronto Airport. My one complaint that I have with this pair of Fior Nihai's stockings is it did dig into my skin, into my upper calf while we were traveling. But other than that, I love this pair of Fior. Nothing like just jumping onto your cuddle couch after a long day of traveling, kicking off these shoes, making sure that there's no snags or runs in my new Fior nylons. Good to be home, that's for sure. And nylons rock, so do you. Ciao.